Hi, this is Ken with Cold Water Strong. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to do, uh, show you guys the new design of the 360 flasher releases. Um, we've had uh, the stainless steel model before and we've lightened it up, used a lot of really nice strong materials, light materials on there. So let's get up to it and we're going to show you how to install this. So when you do receive a um, flasher from from Pro Troll, unfortunately I cut the ring off right here but as you can see I left the ring on the front and I cut the ring off the back. Um, I cut this uh, ball bearing right off and left the ring on there. So the best way to hook up this flasher release is using these clips that is provided with there you put them right into the front and it would go right onto the ring and there you go you're right on the ring right there on the top don't install it on the bottom install it right on the top and then on the rear with the new line if you can see the difference this one's a lot thicker the old model and this is stainless steel and we went to aluminum so you take the dual snap on the back open that up and you just go ahead and snap it right into the back like that and now your flasher release is installed onto a Pro Troll. Um, to also implement the cold water strong bumper leaders into this you would basically just take an anti mainline twist bumper leader and on the front ring all you would have to do is just go right through the front ring like that clip it on and now you're ready to fish the tail end of this you have a size 4 uh, ball bearing and this is where you would put your dual snap to your leader the another feature that we implemented is this little uh, stopper right here now we've had some problems in the past losing pins now we solved that problem because now we have a pin stopper so you'll never lose the pins when when it, it disengage from the aluminum receiver so that's how we install that uh, onto a Pro Troll and with the short bus since they come with no rings whatsoever basically this is how you would do the the short bus with the short bus all you would have to do is through the front hole and then you take the the flasher release and just go right through to the dual snap and now you're engaged in the front and then you would take the dual snap in the back and snap it into the rear of the flasher and now we've installed the flasher release to a, pro, uh, to a short bus so either way you don't have to cut off the ring on the front you can still do the same technique with here if you cut off the front ring or not but one thing I found out with this front ring it really does in improve the performance of of the rotation by absolutely just uh, click uh, clipping right into that ring right there and that creates a really nice pivot point for for your flasher to actually have full rotation